yeah. and butterflies were caterpillars, but caterpillars and butterflies are something so different. different. I mean, like just the very, just the, just the, the way they move. For example, mm -hmm. caterpillars crawl, mm -hmm. and butterflies fly. That alone is like to be born a baby that crawls. Um, a teenager, you are an eagle. <laughs> that is true. That is pretty awesome. Okay. Hi guys. So today I'm going to show you my plants, my little garden, okay? And how much of my plants have grown so far. That's what you'll be saying. And then focus with you. So first we're going to go on this station, what I'm trying to do here. Spring onions, um, and here I also am going to plant something. This plant, remember guys I planted it a long time ago, but actually I'm thinking of um, taking it out. Some plants I actually don't like or enjoy growing as much because they, are, they can be troublesome and some of them don't motivate me as much to, to learn a lot about them and do better, so I feel like Right now, I just want to plant the easy plants that motivate you. I don't think it's worth it, like the way it grows. I don't think it's a uh, <laughs> so judgmental, but <laughs> I don't think it, it brings me that much joy. So I'm probably gonna um, compost this plant later on and use the pot for something else. There is this one. This one grows so abundantly, right? It's really good, and all you have to do is like every now and then, like take off, of course, the dead ones. And if you come a bit closer, so here you can see that there are the new ones coming up like little shoots. These ones will become this plant. So I like this one because it gives and gives and gives. And I we grow it together with this one, which is also very easy to maintain. I like plants that are not too fussy because as long as like I'm still learning about plants, I don't want to have things that demotivate me. This is um, some basil we got from from a friend as you can see um, it smells so good so good I really like it so there's some basil some rosemary over here um, some pepper that we have growing as well this is also basil actually and the rest here are like just normal plants that we're going to plant later um, and then we have the mint as I showed you guys I like this mint as well that every time like it gets old or too big like you just cut it off and there are, if you look closer here there are like small shootings you know that are easily coming up and ready to take place so I like this one as well and over here you can see we have some papayas growing because we had some seeds that we throw under a piña tree and when those seeds grow we take them away from that place and we plant them here at least that's what I'm trying to do and then when it becomes big enough I want to plant it outside where it hopefully can grow and become real papaya trees thank you baby good angles okay and these are some shootings I got from one of my favorite couples they have beautiful and wonderful collection of plants I always love their house because it's full of so many plants so a little um, um, succulents and I'm going to grow them and then when they become bigger I'll put them somewhere else so yeah now we're gonna go to the other part the last part of my my little garden from that big tree I showed you before the one that has all the small ones I have made one and two other plants from that one because it gives and gives and gives so you just take a little bit you plant it you take a little bit you plant it and they just grow so abund abundantly and now that we are having um, winter so winter is coming soon I'm thinking actually of planting them around the veranda so that they can grow and yeah so that they can grow and multiply as well I also received olivera one plant of olivera that now I have four different plants in these are three of them and the other one is in my room having all of is just a good thing to always have in your house because you can use it for so many things for healing right you can use it for cleaning your you bowels for, yeah yeah your bowels you can clean it's good for your skin um you can digest it you can use it to brush your teeth it's good for your gums and all kinds of stuff so i really love 
having aloe vera and that's just another um, cutting that I took from the other plant which is also growing abundantly and this one you remember remember when I got it, it was so small and it was turning white I gave it some ashes and some a bit of manure and it's suddenly coming back to life so I'm very happy with this one as well and this is um, also an old cutting um, from the other one there the other plant I told you I'm not very excited about so I don't know I think I'm gonna plant it in the veranda but I'm not going to keep raising it if that's how you call it I think I'd rather grow other plants yeah I want to focus more on herbs and edibles that's gonna be my new mission for my next few plants and also growing flowers in my other green garden later on I'll show you because I'll be growing vegetables and so on but for now this is my starting one remember when I started I was putting them in potting now it has grown to this and that so so far I am very proud of it and this is of course I'm trying to grow this pineapple so I don't know if it's gonna work but I was like I'll just give it a go um, and see what happens so this is also that I also think it's pretty by itself it's a cute cute little plant I think by itself as well but yeah it's been raining a lot that's why they're a bit dirty but it's life but yeah thank you guys for watching and yeah I'll see you in my next video as my plants grow and also more other fun stuff stay tuned bye guys take care <laughs> welcome <laughs> Hoje eu falarei. Eu vou falar dele. Hoje. Hoje. Eu falarei. Eu, eu falarei. Frases. Frases. Que eu sei. Que eu sei. Em português. Em português. Ok. Ah, fica da parada.